To business now, the Nigerian Exchange Limited depreciated by 0.18% on Friday as investors sold off shares of some top firms. When the market closed for the day, the all-share index went down by 95.08 points to 52,657.88 points from 52,752.96. And the market capitalization dropped 52 billion naira to 28.681 trillion naira from 28.733 trillion naira. Despite the loss, at the close of business, the market breadth ended positively with 24 prize gainers and 11 prize losers, indicating a strong investor sentiment. Now joining me on the news is Aziz Lawal, Managing Director, Trust Bank Assets Management Limited. Thank you so much, Aziz, for joining me. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Now, Aziz, the market ended uh, the week on a bearish note with a depreciation of 0.18%. What led to this? Yeah, thank you. Uh, like you noted in your report that um, some large cap uh, companies uh, lost. So, I mean, specifically, it was, those were the drivers that, um, that, sent, um, that sent the market into the bearish zone. Specifically, uh, MTN uh, on Friday uh, lost about 1%, about 2% thereabouts. Uh, Access, Access Bank also lost about 5% thereabouts, approximately, and Guinness. And these are large uh, uh, cap tickers significantly. If they go down, the market goes down. But generally, uh, the sentiment of the market was still positive, and that's what we should look forward to next week. Thank All you. right. Now, in the NGX, what should we be expecting for the week? Okay. Like, like I noted, right, uh, we're considering the fact that even though the market closed on Friday on a negative note, the fact that the sentiment in the market was still positive, we expect that positive sentiment to, to reflect our market realities this week. So we expect the market to... Uh, to be bullish this week, particularly as um, uh, earnings of corporate uh, corporate earnings of, of companies start to triple uh, triple in. All right, Aziz. Uh, at the weekend, it was also reported that Nigeria's rating has been downgraded by Moody. Uh, what do we say the impact? What, what do we say we, the impact will be on the capital market? Yeah, thank you. Uh, that's not a good news. Uh, not not presently where. Uh, we have created this big deficit with our budget that, that has to be funded because typically when the government wants to fund, uh, they either go to the international market um, or the local market or the combination of the, of the two of them. Uh, the downgrade basically means that raising funds in the international market is going to be very difficult for the, for the federal government because rates will go up. It will be more expensive to raise money in the international capital market. So as a result, uh, there will be concentrated efforts of the federal government on raising funds locally, and that will further drive rates up. Uh, so isn't it a good one? Uh, we, we we can only hope that I mean uh, other rating agencies will not follow suit. Thank you. All right. Finally, is is uh, considering the raise in MPR by 100 BPS, what outcomes are we likely to see at the FGN bond market this week? Yeah, interestingly, it, just the day after uh, after that rate, that um, last act was announced, uh, we saw. We saw the auction for the treasury based auction, and we saw rates go down. So, in the same regard, it may be too early to tell um, because it's going to be an, an FGM bond auction today. Today, uh, we do not expect it to fully reflect the rate hike because of the uh, liquidity in the system. But in the coming weeks, uh, subsequent options, um, particularly from February, will start to see the impact of this 100% um, basis point rate hike. Thank you. Managing Director, Trust Bank Asset Management Limited, Aziz Lawal, thank you so much for always being available. Yeah, thank you for always having me. Thank you.